Disclaimer, I may or may not be wearing pants right now. Uh, I guess we'll never know. So, I mean, I'm in a really good mood right now. I haven't been feeling this way the last couple days. Even when I woke up today, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that way. Low vibrations, low energy is where I've been. But man, I don't know if it was the cup of coffee, the couple hits out of the weed pen, or if it was watching Kevin Gates speak, or the 30 minute meditation I did, or you know, maybe just a combination of everything. And that's one thing I love about not being rushed and taking my time in the morning. I love it when you get to really set the intention for the day. I was able to turn my low vibrations, my negative energy, and turn that around. And now I'm bringing that with me throughout the rest of the day. You know, there's a lot of good quotes, especially when you listen to Kevin Gates. I don't know if, about you guys, but I'm not even talking about his music. I'm just talking about like his interviews and podcasts and stuff like that. He's a very smart, intelligent, spiritual man. He's very inspirational, motivational. But yeah, yo, one of the things I posted this on my Instagram story said, do what honors you. And I just feel like that means, you know, take the time for yourself. Set the intentions in the morning on how you want this day to be and what energy you want to bring with you throughout the day. That's exactly what I did. It's my day off. I honored myself, you know. Update, I am looking at a place next week, so that's pretty hype. It's a bachelor apartment. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. But I thought this would be a perfect video to talk about. But with this new energy, this new mood, I'm feeling the high vibrations once again. I thought this would be a good video to make on limiting thoughts versus limitless thoughts. And it's funny because it's like flipping a switch. It's like a different side to the same coin. It's really just flipping that switch on and off. You know, a lot of people, we're only human. We have negative thoughts, right? A lot of us have limiting thoughts and limiting beliefs. And you know, this is when your language and vocabulary is so important and thought patterns and stuff like that. And that's why it's so important to be aware and conscious of what you say, what you put out to the universe. I want to make sure I'm recording, right? Fire. If I wasn't recording, I would have been sad as fuck because this shit fire. All right. Yeah, and some of us might say negative or limiting things without even realizing it subconsciously. It's just part of our uh, programming now. But that's a beautiful thing, you know, about being human, being aware of our actions, being conscious. We can change all this. But anyway, limiting versus limitless. A perfect example, whatever it is you want to do, an athlete, a rapper, an artist, clothing brand, any creative adventure out there or you know regardless you know maybe you just want to be a manager at a store a, th a belief you might have is well there's so many people trying to do it it's oversaturated why would i be chosen over them why would i get it that's limiting and then you can flip that the same situation instead of having these limiting thoughts you say yeah there's so many people so many people are out there trying to do it so why not me why not have it be me if it's, not, if it's gonna be someone, might as well be me. It only makes sense. And you can see how you can just flip that. And when you, when you flip that switch and you really start thinking and speaking and looking at things this way, it can change a lot of things. They say miracles start happening when you change your perspective. And you can literally do that for anything. It's limitless. The possibilities are limitless. Instead of thinking everything's gonna go wrong. Well, what if everything went right? Like on the real, like what if everything went right? You say you got a crush on a girl, crush on someone. Oh, they wouldn't be into me. Why would they be into me? They'd be into someone better looking, taller, fill in the blank. Or you could talk your shit and remember that you are the shit and be like, why not me? Why wouldn't they be into me? I got a lot of great things going for me, great characteristics, great charisma, you know, fill in the blank. And it's just flipping that switch, man. And sometimes you just need a reminder. And you know, if you don't have family or friends around you telling you these things, or if you're not watching, you know, like positive uplifting interviews from role models or people you look up to or people on the path that have been already put in the work, you might not realize even what you're doing to yourself. And so, you know, that's why we spread in these good vibes and these good messages. Even with me moving, it's like, man, I'm never going to find a place. I'm going to be homeless. Flip that. Why wouldn't I find a place? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how we do over here. We delusionally optimistic, but yo, pff, I'd rather be like this than pessimistic or person that, you know, believes they can't do shit. Because <laughs> I truly believe we're going to do some big shit and y'all going to be along with me. Um, all right, I think that's it. Do what honors you. Take time for yourself. Set the intentions in the morning. Have limitless beliefs, not limiting beliefs. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you take this energy with you along the rest of the day, rest of the week, weekend, whenever the fuck it is you watching this, man. I'm just happy you're here right now. Spreading good vibes every day. You know how we do. All right, now, where, where'd I put my pants?